for these types of questions, you have to just be meticulous in the order you figure things out. Literally go from A to B to C and just explore all the possibilities and make changes as you go. So it tells you charge number, uh, object A is negatively charged. And then it says object A and object B repel. So it's pretty obvious that B has to be a negative. It can't be anything else. Does the object B and object C attract? So that means that what's going to attract a negative? Well, a positive will, but also a neutral object. So C can we, as far as we could tell, C could be either positive or neutral. But then it tells us, oops, then it tells us C and D, object C and D attract. So if C is positive, that means D is going to be either negative or neutral. And if C is neutral, that means D could be positive or negative. Okay, so see how we kind of have branching possibilities here. Now for letter E, it says that object D and E repel. Well, that means that this has to be negative and that means that this cannot be neutral. Uh, and so if down here, these two would have to be, it would have to be positive if, it's, if D is positive and it would be negative if D is negative. So that means A is definitely negative, B is def definitely negative, C is either positive or neutral, D is either positive or negative, and E is either positive or negative.